I'm Dr. Ruma Sinha, Senior Consultant, Gynecologist at Apollo Hospital, Hyderabad. I'm a minimal access and robotic surgeon dealing with benign conditions in women who require surgery for their gynecological problems. Technology is impacting not only the health but in every sphere of life. So people have moved from small phones to smartphones and the simple reason is that they make you do perform better. The same thing helps a surgeon when they use technology to do surgeries for women to deal with their gynecological problems. Now women may have chronic pain, chronic bleeding leading to anemia or general loss of health because of gynecological problems. Often these are not controlled by medications and require surgery. Traditionally we were doing open surgery but we know the disadvantages and we have moved to keyhole surgery. However, in women's health and surgery, minimal invasive surgery in form of laparoscopy is not universal because there are complex problems and complex diseases. And that is why the role of robot assisted or computer assisted surgery has come into play which enables a surgeon not only to perform detailed and precise surgery but also helps women to recover very fast without much blood loss, no pain and literally they go home in a day's time. Uh, the problem of infertility is on the rise in our country and this can be seen by multiple mushrooming of infertility centers. Well, artificial reproductive technology like IVF and all those things have a role, but one must not remember that surgical correction of problems that are causing infertility can lead to spontaneous conception and giving a joy of motherhood to a woman. The common two common problems that causes infertility in women which can be corrected surgically is presence of fibroids and the presence of endometriosis. With our vast experience of doing robotic surgery in fertility enhancing surgeries for the last five years at Apollo Hospital Hyderabad, we have realized that doing myomectomy that means removing the fibroids and saving the uterus for the mother or clearing her endometriosis in the most precise manner not affecting her ovarian function gives the maximum spontaneous pregnancy rates in these women post uh, the surgery. So that actually prevents them from going to multiple cycles of IVF, going multiple sittings in IVF centers and of course probably in the long run saves a lot of money for them too. There are few diseases in benign gynecology that means women not suffering from cancer of the uterus is like fibroids, endometriosis or some kind of problem which is causing immense uh, disability to women to perform their day to day life as mothers, as executives, as part of the society. When we have these kind of problems we offer them few surgeries like either removal of the uterus which is hysterectomy or removal of the fibroids which is myomectomy or removal of the disease like endometriosis. But often these are not able to be completed in the minimal invasive way. So these are the few conditions in which we support or we feel that advent of robot assisted or computer assisted enabling of device to the doctor will help them perform these surgeries in the most effective manner so that the patient recovers very fast and the mother can be back with their children in this time. The future for computer assisted surgery is very bright because technology is changing every sphere of life why medicine should be left behind. We have a little bulky device right now but I am sure in decades to come the device will become smaller in a miniature, will become more surgeon friendly, will have haptic feedback and I think instead of putting multiple ports we will definitely have now this whole surgery be performed by single port. That means we need not make multiple, we are at the moment even with minimal invasive surgery we talk about multiple small holes. But in future I understand and I believe that we may be able to perform the whole thing by just single port or maybe even have nano robots which we can probably introduce into the abdomen, control it externally and having them perform what we want to perform for the patients. Mm -hmm.